Hi everyone, my name is Shaky Banks and today I'm going to teach you how to make a custom arena yourself. The process for this is super straightforward. I have only just started modding myself and I learned how to do it. I dead ass had to do a whole Scooby-Doo hunt for clues kind of a thing and going through like old discord messages and piecing together readmes from PSDs. And I don't want anyone else to go through that so that's my motivation to make this tutorial. You'll see it's pretty straightforward. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the files in Toolbox. I'm not going to show you how to get to this pretty image with the Toad Dial. Uh, this tutorial assumes that you know how Photoshop works and you know what to do with these layers that I'll be giving to you in the template in the description. Now yeah, let's get into it. If there is a need for a tutorial to show you how to work in Photoshop and how to do this kind of how to work with the layers and manipulate images, I can make a separate tutorial for that. But today we're just gonna stick with the modding aspect of it. So here you are, you have your image, and you're happy with it, and you say, dang, that looks hot. Let's put it in Smash Ultimate. So you're gonna go into File, and then I like to do Control Shift S, and the name of the Photoshop template is the exact name of the file you're gonna need. So don't change it, Online Buddy, background 00u and we're gonna make it a PNG <clears throat> and we're gonna save this in somewhere convenient okay so I'm gonna click Save and then from there ooh, I'm just gonna pick large file saving I haven't really noticed the difference between using them okay so that's done so we have our PNG and now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna navigate to the folder and in the template I'm going to give you below it's going to have the folder architecture that you need so I don't really need to worry about this but what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate all the way through UI layout menu online buddy online buddy there's supposed to be two I'm going to click on layout.arc and I'm going to open this in toolbox switch this is another software that you need to have if you're going to be working with these layout.arcs and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here to the Tim G folder and here what you have looks like a folder i'm not really sure i don't get it but if you click on it it's a collection of files and you can go through these files and you can find the file that we need one from the photoshop document that we were working with earlier and it's gonna be called online buddy bg zero you and actually if i go to windows and i maximize everything you guys can see this actually belongs to another mod that I made. And what I want to do is I want to replace this file. So I'm going to replace. I'm going to go back. I'm going to find that PNG that I had earlier. So we go to Totodile. We get our Totodile PNG. And it's the file name you need. The file name needs to be exact or it's not going to work. So I've set that up for you in the files below. So don't change anything. So here, don't change anything here either. I've messed around with the, the properties a little bit and it seems like the defaults here work really well. <laughs> We're just gonna wait for it to load a little bit. You can see how long it takes, it's not too long. I used multi-threading earlier and they've really bottlenecked my CPU. Like my CPU is running at 99% and yeah. And you don't need to do it either because it turns out pretty good. So we're just gonna click OK. And then from there, we're going to go save. File has been saved. Yeah, so that's good for me. Yep, that's the right place to save it. But I'll show you how to get there. So you're going to go to save as. And you just want to pick the right folder. So you go through the whole process again. And you want to save over this template layout.arc that I gave you guys in the description and yeah we're gonna we're gonna replace it yep <laughs> and there you go I saved it twice but just for the sake of demonstration so cool we have that now we're gonna go into our filezilla which not everyone has if you don't use like FT DP service like filezilla you're just going to want to 
uh, put mods on your Switch the normal way you do it, but I do it with FileZilla because it's convenient. I don't have to take out my SD card. You can look up how to do that. So here's my file. I like to label them like this. I'm just going to drag this onto my SD card over here. It's going to take a second to load. You can check add out. You can check out time remaining down here. So this one almost done. Cool, and it should be working. So now we're going to switch over to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch. I'm going to turn on my Elgato real quick. And there we go. And now we're going to load up some Smash. Yo, the friends be playing. Okay, let's check it out. And boom, there you have it. Everything you need to know to make your own custom arena screen. So yeah, I'm Shiggy Banks. If you have any questions, feel free to message me, put something in the comments. And uh, yeah, happy modding.